Hey guys, it's Dr. Varun here doing another video today on water. And today I wanna to be following up on my last video, which was all about why water is important. And today I'll be concentrating on what happens if you actually deny the body of water entirely and how long it will actually last. Now, I'll be honest and say that this is more of a hypothetical video because the scenario where actually someone doesn't have any access to water at all is actually quite a rare one. Um, the reason being is because food in itself actually contains elements of moisture. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to be stripping the body of food and water and seeing what happens. So the body can normally survive around about seven days without having any water. But I was looking when I was doing my research for this video about what records may have been set. And I did read a story, I'm not sure if it's completely true, of a guy that survived 18 days, an Austrian guy who was thrown into prison and was forgotten about by the police and apparently survived by licking condensation off the wall, which to be fair is genius if that's true. So let's talk a little bit more about what may have happened to that chap's body whilst he was going through the process of dehydration. So at the beginning, when you're approaching moderate dehydration, which is when you lose about one or 2% of your total body fluid, things are quite comfortable. You know, your mouth is a little bit dry, your kidneys are working a little bit harder, granted, trying to conserve as much water as they can so you're producing less weight and it's looking quite dark. As you approach moderate dehydration, which is when you lose five to 6% of your total body fluid, your kidneys are definitely on their knees at this point and you're producing little or no urine at all. Your pulse is gonna be through the roof, your eyes are gonna to start to look quite sunken, and your skin is gonna to start to lose its elasticity. As I mentioned before, water is really important in making sure that the cells function properly, and the cells of your muscles now start to cramp up as the transferring of salts in and out of the cells starts to become massively imbalanced. As things progress from here, I'll be honest with you, things are getting quite life-threatening as they approach severe dehydration, where you lose around about eight or 9% of your total body fluid. At this point, your kidneys are waving a little white flag. They've given up entirely. Your pulse is going to be through the roof. Your blood pressure is going to be on the floor. Your skin is going to be completely shriveled. And you're probably going to end up having fits or going into a coma as a result of all of the chemical imbalance. The irony at this point is that even water won't save you. If you did end up drinking some, you'd probably end up being quite sick because your stomach has completely shriveled up at this point. And the only way to get around this is to be admitted to hospital so that you can have uh, fluids put into your veins, which would contain water and replace all the salts that you've lost. I hope this video has gone some way to help highlight how important water is actually to the body. And so it's important to start drinking more on a daily basis. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, please leave your feedback on this video and suggest any video topics that you want me to try and cover. And I'll do my best to try and do that for you. Thanks so much. Cheers. And I'll see you soon.